Back in action, we're back in the action, boys. Hey man, real quick, thank you guys so much for all the support on the videos. Always appreciate that, and we still have a giveaway going on right now for this ring. It's a gold nugget ring. Last video I said, if y'all get like 2,000 thumbs up within the day, I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys. We've been trying forever. You still haven't gotten it, but last video, you were 100 off. And last video also, I said if you didn't get it, I was just gonna sell it for the price of gold and get tired of this. However, you guys were so close. I'm giving you one more chance. 2,000 thumbs up within the day, boys. Leave a comment down below. My Instagram's right here. Let me know when you did that and I'm gonna pick one of you guys. But even if you don't hit that, man, all the support obviously is so appreciated anyway. I just really wanna give this away to one of you guys because I know a lot of you have been messaging me saying you could make use out of it. So thank you so much. Thank you good. <laughs> and real quick, man, of course, this video is brought to you by the website called namebrandfam.com. Who owns that brand? Me, all of us. We own the website, we do it ourselves. I pay people to do it, but I pick every item on the website. Now what you guys will see if you click the link, there's a bunch of really cool jewelry that once you get a hand picked, there's two things right here that you guys have been really digging a lot lately. Uh, the trick of it all is, I'd say it's free, but it's not. It is free, all I ask you to do is pay shipping, bad pitch. All I ask you to do is pay shipping, man, and you could actually add two free items to your cart for the price of one shipping. So don't add one, you could add another one for the same price. You know what I mean? Do that, namebrandfam.com. It helps, bro. It really helps the videos, and uh, once again, like I say, my beer funds. My beer funds and my YouTube video money. We're always honest. We've been getting lots of beers lately through that money boys so thank you <laughs> freaking last place they want their money to be going eh? sorry my roommates are here all right man let's get into it i uh, i hate to pump my own tires but sometimes when i need to pump my own tires i do it when it's what it's needed you know what i mean whatever that means now i've been searching for a long time because you guys have asked about it so much for a diamond cuban chain if you guys don't know what that is it's like the most popular chain you've probably ever seen on people wow there's a picture right there of whoever i put up they're wearing it now not just one of those not just a diamond cuban chain because that's gonna on icebox cost you at least a hundred thousand dollars or something because they like they're they're mad pricey on that website. I probably shouldn't be saying this because they've just now started to show me love. This is how you burn bridges and this is why I never succeed with companies. But hey, we're honest once again. But a fake one. A fake diamond Cuban. You guys have been asking for me to find that will pass any diamond tester. Now in order to do this, because diamonds don't pass diamond testers for fake, is you gotta get a moistenite one. Now let me uh, educate you guys real quick on this. We have, what, what I'm about to unbox right now, is a diamond moistenite chain. Still fake diamonds. What moistenite diamonds are is like they're better quality diamonds. I'm not gonna pretend I know what's up, but most of the time they pass diamond testers because they're that good. <laughs> Just search it up, Google it. You'll probably find a better explanation. Anyway, I've been searching forever and I finally uh, found a company. The company's called Jewelry Fresh, I guess. This is not sponsored whatsoever. I've got no affiliation with them except for the fact that they set this for free. But this was the first company that I'd seen actually offering moistenite diamonds on jewelry that looks really, really good. And I was like, man, like, do you think you could send this over for a video for me to review? Freaking within five minutes, they're like, yes, of course, bro. F next day shipping, don't swear, Brown, sir. I'm just mad, <laughs> mad doubt about this. Uh, they sent it next day shipping. So what we have here is the first I've ever seen at least moistenite diamond Cuban chain that looks real nice in pictures that will hopefully pass your diamond testers. What they say in their like Instagram posts when they're showing this stuff, they say it'll pass most. Let's check it out. Anyway, boys, let's get into the video for today. Once again, so highly requested from you guys. We've actually gotten some from this company before, and I hope I'm saying their name right, Jewelry Fresh, whatever. There won't be any links, because they ain't paying me, but, uh, you know, you can go check them out if they want. I think we've gotten diamond moistenite earrings from them before, and that actually passed the diamond tester. So, first off, JF, I'm pretty sure it's Jewelry Fresh. Cool. Yep, Jewelry Fresh comes with a card. Very sick. What's it say? We don't care. Next, let's get into the box is cool, I guess, by the way. <laughs> Nobody cares about the box. Here we go. Quite the chain. Wow, it's hefty too. Damn! As y'all can see, this is what y'all have been trying to y'all try to fake flex or something. There's something y'all like you got a goal in mind if you're asking me, hey, review something that'll pass a diamond test. You probably got some girl, she's got a diamond tester from her dad, you've been wearing some fake stuff, and all of a sudden you look like an idiot when you go over to her place and they call you out on her something. I, this, I don't know why y'all are fake flexing, but I don't disagree with it. You know what I mean? Do what you want to do. Anyway, there's this right here. Like I say, on their website, it's going to be mad awkward if it doesn't pass any of our diamond testers because they say it will pass most diamond testers. Once again, they say most for their safety. Well, let's look at the clarity first off for a second, man. 
I mean, it looks good. Are they my jeweler? Do I know about jewelry whatsoever? Absolutely not. What I do is talk out my ass, all video, every video, and I just, I'm here to entertain, bro, and talk about things I really like. But uh, what I did see right here, though, is they actually do have an 18.82 carat stamp here. So there's 18.82 carats of fake diamonds. <laughs> But nonetheless, they do have that. That's kind of cool, actually. What do they have? Is this 925 silver or what? Nah, it just says Jewelry Fresh right there, like their little logo. Mad dope. Mad dope. So there it is. Obviously, we're going to get to the diamond testing real quick. I do want to try it on. I never try things on in videos like that's fake. And you guys always ask me why. And the reason is because, like, once I put it on, I fall in love with it. And then I want to wear it, which isn't a bad thing, I guess. But I really want to earn it myself, like the real thing. Anyway, there's kind of how it looks on. It's on a gray shirt. It looks mad dope. I don't know if you guys can really tell through video, but it looks really, really nice. But let's get on to the diamond tester. This is what I'm stoked about. Like they say, most diamond testers, it'll pass. So we're just gonna take this one right here. This one's a cheap one. If you have fake jewelry and use this, a lot of times it'll actually tell you it's real, depending on how to use it. But uh, let's do this one first. Then we have our most expensive diamond tester. We're gonna do it with the big guns there. That one actually detects moissanite. But uh, let's go. Uh, let's pick a nug right here. Let's see if uh, they're a man of the word. Let's go. Easy money. So that's sick. I thought it would probably work. We've tried moistenite on this thing so much. Uh, this might be a groundbreaking thing for y'all, man. I don't think anyone's done a video on a on a chain that's like moistenite that can pass. This puppy right here. I call it the $500 diamond tester, boys. People call me out. Apparently, it's like $250, but $500 sounds a little cooler. Rolls off the tongue a little better. We're going to heat this up. Now, if this works, look at this diamond tester right here, man. Um, green means diamond. I don't know if y'all can read that. Blue means moistenite. So this is actually a moistenite detector as well. Then sapphire is um, pink. And if we get a red thing, it means I'm hitting metal. So anyway, now that we know that, let's see... If this will be the first one, maybe in the world of YouTube, that has passed any diamond. So this is cool to me, man. I really, I'm starting to get into stones and stuff. I live with cameraman Ian. He's a freaking geologist, but he uh, tells me a lot about stones often. So uh, this will be a cool little test. Try right here. Moistenite right away. Moistenite right away. This is a really good diamond tester. Okay, we're gonna try a few more because I know it does take a few times sometimes with moistenite for it to come green. Let's go! Oh, it's not on the camera. Sorry, boys. I had to shift over real quick. So she. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! Alright, man! Yes! Oh, okay, you guys don't even know. Like, I don't really care if this passes, but for the video, <laughs> and like for you guys, it's a lot better. So yeah, I do care if it passes. That's sick! So I'm gonna tell you guys, eight out of maybe 10 times it didn't pass when doing it. Um, it did detect moissanite, but the other couple of times it did test green, which is diamond. So, and once again, that's on this one right here. So if we're using this, this one, in my opinion, that, that worked 100% of the time. So it depends. I don't know what your goal is with getting the fake jewelry. Another thing too is a lot of rappers, um, actually, I've had a lot of jewelers tell me this. I'm close to a lot of jewelers and actually some big rappers that do do this that have said personally that rappers when they're on stage or going to a certain event or something like that, a lot of times they have actual fake pieces of their real pieces. So if they get snatched or whatever, something like that, they're not out a lot of money. You know what I mean? That's what a lot of rappers do. So a lot of rappers do, I'm assuming, purchase night moistenite based off what I've heard right there. But there you go, boys. I've been I've been trying so hard to make this video happen for the longest time uh, because I know a lot of you guys have just been asking. It's like, yo, we saw the earrings of moistenite, but anyone with the chain, the classic chain, anyone wants to wear, can you find that? We found it, boys. It does pass. It's a little iffy on this one, but this one right here, every 100% uh, of the time, at least when I test it. There you go, man. There is the diamond Cuban chain moistenite diamond test pass. Yeah, I feel like I just achieved something, but I didn't. I haven't achieved anything but putting up a stupid video. Appreciate y'all for watching. Working the game the greatest of all time. Shout out Jewelry Fresh for sending this so quickly. Really do appreciate that. I didn't charge them at all or anything, but it's cool that they're so down with it. And uh, yeah. You guys let me know what you think about this. Would you rock something that's big, even though it might pass? Or uh, you just want to spend the big bucks on the big real thing, you know what I mean? Because it's a big thing, man. Like, 
I'm almost at the point where like I can financially afford the real stuff, but where will that get me? You know what I mean? Why would I do that when I could just buy the fake thing that looks the same and just drop my ego for a second? I've been thinking about that a little bit, quite a bit actually. So anyway, y'all rock. Neighbor and fam's real strong. Uh, this is a legendary video in my mind. Maybe not as much to you guys, but this is so legendary to me. This is awesome. Appreciate y'all for watching. Rick the Game, the Graceful Tom. Y'all the goats. Blah, man.